Good morning, everyone. This is the Breshampton School TV. Today, I'm with George. Hey, guys. We're going to check out the WAG Museum that the fifth graders created. Although these students, researchers, and pretty exciting explorers such as Christopher Columbus, Amerigo Vespucci, Hernán Cortés, Francisco Vázquez de Coronado, and Hernando de Soto. Let's go check out the fifth grade WAG Museum. Hey, Chris, did you buy me a ticket? Nah, sorry, George, they were sold out. European explorer Hernando Cortes by Marcus Miller. Explorer's name, Hernando Cortes. This slideshow will tell you about this explorer. Early life. Cortes lived in a noble family, but not the wealthiest. In 1499, at age 14, he went to the University of Salamanca to study law, but dropped out two years later because he was bored of his studies. He later became interested in the New World and the wealth he could achieve by selling resources from it. He had signed up for an expedition led by Nicolas de Ovando, but after a serious injury, was not able to. It seemed that this was it for Cortes, but later on he found opportunities. Cortes was born in Madelin, Spain. Cortes' Roots after the injury in 1511, young Cortes had got his first opportunity for adventure. Diego Velazquez was hosting an expedition. Cortes signed up. In 1518, by now he was in Cuba, Cortes was to lead an expedition under permission of Diego. Though Diego canceled the trip, worried what Cortes would do for power over the new world. Cortes ignored the order and sailed toward Mexico. Cortes ended up in Cozumel, Mexico. He found out that the tribe living there was not Christian and tried to make them Christian by tearing down their structures and replacing them with Christian structures, such as crosses and statues of the Virgin Mary. After that trip, he traveled to Tabasco. Here, he attacked. In 1519, the War of Sintla occurred and Cortes and his men were victorious. Only two of Cortes' men had been killed. The Tabascans surrendered and gave Cortes gold and slaves, including a bilingual one that was very useful to Cortes. After making friends with an Aztec ambassador and being given their men, Cortes traveled to Tenochtitlan. Cortes had made it to the capital of the Aztec Empire and met Montezuma II, and was greeted gracefully. Cortes, greedily, betrayed Montezuma and held him hostage while his men attacked the city. The Spaniards then forced Montezuma's own people to murder him. By 1520, Spanish people from Cortes' homeland had arrested him for not following Diego Velasquez's order not to leave. Cortes ended up defeating the Spaniards that were trying to arrest him and returned to Tenochtitlan. He found out his men weren't there and went to find them. After finding his men, Cortes ended up defeating the Aztec in 1521. Then he then built the city, Mexico City, on the remains of the destroyed Aztec buildings and deemed himself governor. And so Hernando Cortes was responsible for the downfall of the entire Aztec Empire. Why did he explore? Cortes explored for wealth and fortune. Conquering the Aztec Empire might have helped him gain wealth. Fun facts. Hernan Cortes actually married the bilingual slave and had a child named Martin. Cortes' cousin, Francisco Pizarro, had conquered the Incan Empire. The Gulf of California used to be called the Sea of Cortes. Thank you for seeing my slide. That was really good, Marcus. Beautiful. Thank you. Can you move your camera away so that way you can pick it up on the mic? You're behind the waist up here, please. You're listening or you're reading. This is Fernando de Soto. He was born in Spain in 2015. De Soto had a poor family. He became a poor because he wanted to get rich for the same, but his family wanted him to become a lawyer. The reason for exploring. The reason why he was a explorer is because he wanted to get gold. 
Then he wanted to travel the world. Interesting fact. His parents wanted him to be a lawyer. He returned to, he returned to Spain with so much gold from India. His family was poor, and he only spoke Spanish. And the reason why he was famous is because he was the first explorer to travel to Florida and Southeast America. And he was educated at the age of 14. Early life. History says that Francisco was born in circa 1510 into a noble family in Salama, Spain. Granada was the younger son, and as such, he did not stand to inherit the family title or estate. As such, he decided to seek his fortune in the New World. In 1535, he traveled to New Spain as Mexico was then known with Antonio de Mazo, the Spanish victory. One, his family had titles with, from his father's service as royal and minister in Granda. Within a year after his arrival, Coronado married Beatrice, uh, the youngest daughter of Elono de Estra former colonial treasure, the match earned him for the largest estate in New Spain in 1535. Granado gained Mazona approval as su successfully putting down revolutions in black slaves in the Indians working in the mines. The following year, he was appointed as governor for the province of Nueva Galen, a region that compressed much of what became the Mexico states of Jasso, Jalicoso. Francisco Coronado's route. According to Google, the route that Francisco Coronado traveled was north of one side or the other of today's Arizona, New Mexico state line. And from the headwaters, the little Coronado River, he continued on until he came to Zuni River. He followed the Zuni River until he found region inhabited by Zuni people. Five, age of death, 44. He discovered the Grand Canyon, but didn't even know it. He was the first person to walk through the Southwest of USA. He also traveled for two years for 4,000 miles and didn't find anything he wanted. Why he explored. Francisco Coronado explored because he heard rumors of seven gold cities and riches. Name, Francisco Coronado. Birth, September 22nd, 1510. Septem death, September 22nd, 1544. Birthplace, Spain, Salem. Christopher Columbus. Why did Christopher Columbus explore? Well, he was hoping to find Europe to India. According to an eyewitness to history.com, his plan was still west until he reached Asia, the Indian. In the 16th and 15th century, they wanted to find Syria to the Far East. Columbus didn't discover North America. Columbus wanted to find Europe to China, India, Japan, and the Spice Islands. If he could reach his islands, he would be able to bring back rich cargoes. Where he had sailed and what ships he used. Christopher Columbus had sailed from Spain. He sailed across the Atlantic Ocean. Columbus led his three ships, the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. He sailed out of Spanish port of Palestine, August 3, 1492. He wanted to sail west until he had Asia. Columbus needed three ships because he had 90 men. Christopher Columbus's family. He married Felipa Perstella. They had one son named Diego in 1480. His wife died soon after that, and Columbus moved to Spain. He had another son with Beatriz and Cruz de Arena. His mother was called Susana Fontazerla. His father was called Domenico Colomba. His sister was called Binachita Columbus. His brothers were Bartholomew Columbus, Babamina Columbus, and Guacamole Columbus. Fun fact. 
He was born in 1451 in Genoa. He died in 1506. He was Italian. He never set a foot in North America. He was convinced he had landed on Asia. He began sailing when he was a teenager. Genoa was in the country called Italy. He died when he was 55 years old. Hi, my name is Jackson. Today I'll be teaching about Armigo, Armigo Vespucci. Vespucci was born in Florence, Italy. According to life science, he was fascinated with books and maps. His family and friend, friends were also power, very powerful medicans who ruled for over 300 years. First, Vespucci departed from Cadiz in 1497, and when Vespucci reached the Americas, he was indeed the first European who crossed the equator. The reason for exploring. Well, he was there when they found Asia, so when he was exploring what he thought was Asia, he went back to prove that it was indeed a different continent now named after America. Well, Vespucci was exploring a freshwater river, well, while he thought he was in Asia exploring the Ganges River, he was truly exploring the set the Amazon River in South America. While they were exploring, they found a big lake. Him and Screw were scared, so they went back home. In 1501, he went back to South America and discovered a place now called Rio de Janeiro and La Plata River in Argentina and Uruguay. Interesting facts. The Fuji worked jobs such as merchants, stewards, and operated a ship outfitting business. He was born March 9th, 1454 in Florence, Italy, and died February 22nd of 1512 in Spain. He also discovered the Amazon River while exploring, and he didn't even know it. He also studied Native Americans, and he also got the name America from Amigo Vespucci. Her name Cortez has done a lot to contribute to modern day America. He conquered Mexico along with the Aztec Empire. But in other eyes, she was also a mass murderer. This presentation will tell you all you need to know about Hernan Cortez. Hernan was born in the village of Hernan, Spain, 1485. His parents were Martin Cortez Monami and Catalina Pizarro de Almanara. He was also a distant cousin to Francesco Pizarro, another explorer who had conquered the Incan Empire in Peru. Hernan's voyage started when he was 19 after he convinced the Cuban governor to appoint him captain general of the expedition his fight for gold. Hernan had taken an overland route off the eastern coast of Mexico. The main reasons for Hernan's exploration was mostly his want for gold. Although Hernan was already in the upper class, he still wanted to be richer. Immediately after he had arrived, he, was, he had scheduled a meeting with the capital city emperor um, in order to ask for um, gold in exchange for some of their Spanish goods. After multiple attempts to make an alliance, they still said no. Hernan was furious, so he went to war. Over 100 Spaniards were killed, but although that seems like a large loss, it was nothing compared to the 100,000 Aztecs who also died. After three months of fighting, Hernan had finally conquered the Aztecs, and although he was not seen as someone to look up to, he also expanded Mexico and helped them become part of the modern world. His fame in Spain. In Mexico, Hernan may not have been viewed as a hero, although in Spain, it was different. He had, he had come back with over 8,000 pounds of gold. This was his, the main reason for his fame in Spain. When he came back, he also did many good deeds in Spain. For example, he helped colonize Cuba. He also married the sister-in-law of Governor Ventiles while he lived there. Eventually, he got bored of his life in Cuba, so he went back to live, explore more of America, and he did. He discovered California. Retirement. Hernan retired in 1541 to a home he had bought in Seville, Spain. He put it like thinking ahead of time because he had purchased this property four years in advance. But on December 2nd, 1547, he died of royalty, a fatal lung disease. Francisco Coronado by Kate Vinsky. Early life. Born in Sarica, 1510, into a wealthy family from Salmonica, Spain. Francisco was the youngest of his brothers. Because of this, he did not stand to get the family title or estate. He instead set out to make his own wealth from the new world. And here is more about why he decided to explore.
His route. His most famous route was the one from his expedition through Arizona. Coronado started his voyage in Spain and traveled through the west coast of Mexico. Then he traveled through the mountains of southeast Arizona to New Mexico. And that this is more of his route. Francisco Coronado why he explored. Francisco Coronado was a Spanish governor in modern day Mexico who went on to explore the southwest United States. His expedition was one that was promoted by stories of of myth and riches. And this is more why he decided to explore. Fun facts. He discovered the Grand Canyon but didn't know it. When he died, he was only 44 years old. His whole life, he was only married two years. Francisco was only 25 when he set sail for the New World. He explored almost all of his life. And that's the picture. Get loud, Olivia. Early life. Christopher Columbus early was he was born in Canela. It is the northwest town of Elrity. He was a son of a wool merchant. When he was a teenager, he got a job for a merchant ship and stayed on the ship till 1476 when pirates attacked the ship. The reason Christopher Columbus explored was he liked the sea and was an experienced sailor. He also believed the world was his friend, so he sailed west from here. So he would end up in India because it was a rich trading place. His route. He wanted to find a water route across the Atlantic Ocean west to Europe to Asia, but he did not find the route. He found the America. His ship she sailed was the Santa Maria, the Penta, and the Nina. The Santa Maria could hold about 40 people and 20 tons of cargo, while the other ships, Penta and Nina, could only hold 24 people and 60 tons each. Interesting fact. One, he was a cheapskate. He found a school for whoever's own um, land first. A son named Rodrigo de Triana was first to see land on October 12, 1492, but never got his reward. Two, Christopher Columbus was not his real name. It was given to him by the Genoas, what some people say. Three, he crossed the Bermuda Triangle. Four, his kids are Diego Columbus and Fernando. Five, he was born October 31st, 1451, and died May 20th, 1506. All of these facts were made by Dr. Early life. Hernan Cortes was born in Meladen, Spain in 1485. He came from a fairly famous family and his father was a captain in the Spanish army. His parents wanted him to become a lawyer and sent him to school to study law. When he was 14, Cortes heard of Christopher Columbus' the discoveries in the New World. Hernan de Cortes de Monterrey y Pizarro, first Marquess of the Valley of Oxadia, 1485. Hernan Cortes was a Spanish considerator who overthrew the Aztec Empire, and Cortes is born in Meladen, Spain, to an inferiority captain and his wife. When he was 14, his parents sent him to study Latin at, at his uncle's school in Salamanca. Describe his route. Spanish considerator Hernan Cortes, 1485-1547, traveled to Mexico, time in command of his own expedition, but Velazquez canceled the trip. Cortes used his new allies and united them against the Aztecs, who he sent more expeditions out into new areas, including what is present day, Cold Water. His wife, Hernan Cortes de Manuel y Pazaro Atalvino, first Cortes of the Valley of Luxadia, was a was a Cortes also found to become romantically involved with Catalina Cortes or Jorges, 
This sister-in-law of the governor of Veliquas, part of the Cortes, was, was temporarily distracted by one of Catalina's sisters, who finally married Catalina. The reason for exploring. He wanted to travel and see new lands. He also wanted to make his fame and fortune. Cortes sailed for the New World in 1504. He first arrived on the island of Hispanolia at the city of Santo Domingo. Interesting facts. Born around 1485, Hernan Cortes was a Spanish considerator, explorer who defeated the Aztecs and claimed Mexico for Spain. He first set sail to the New World at the age of 19. Cortes later joined an expedition to Cuba. In 1518, he set off to explore Mexico, profession considered a place of death, Spain, Hernan Cortes de Manuel y Pizarro, at Marina, first to Marquez of the Valley. Exadera was a Spanish considerator who led the expedition that caused the fall of the Aztec Empire and brought large portions of what is now mainland Mexico under the rule of the king of the castle in the early 16th century. Born around 1485, Melodin. Spain, died December 2nd, 1547. Castellina de la Casta, Spain, known for Spanish contest of the Aztec Empire, spells Catalina Jorges M. 1516, 1522, discovers Mexico, Aztecs, Baja, California, and Pennsylvania. Children, Martin Cortez, Leonard Cortez, Matazuna, Hernan Cortez, was married on the day and month I was born. Thank you. Hello, my name is Christopher Columbus, and I wanted to find a trading route to Asia, but instead found a new land called America. My arrival to the Americas was the beginning of the end for the Native Americans there. Hi, my name is Amerigo Vespucci, and I was the first Italian to realize and prove that Christopher Columbus did not discover Asia. He discovered a new land called America. I went back to prove to my country that the land they sailed to was not Asia. It was a new land soon called America. Hi, my name is Herman Cortes. I was born in 1485 in Melbourne, Spain. I grew up in a lesser noble family and I sailed with 11 ships to look for gold, silver, and more. I discovered Tenochtitlan, the capital of Aztec's empire. I am responsible for killing many Aztecs and eliminating and amending the Aztec's empire. I am Francisco Carnado, and I grew up in Salamanca, Spain. My expeditions resulted in the discovery of the Grand Canyon. I went out looking for the seven fabled cities of gold. I left Compostela and proceeded up the west coast of Mexico. Hi, my name is Hannah Cortez and I live in Medellin, Spain. I was born around 1485 and I traveled to Mexico and Spain once as well. The reason I explored was because I wanted to look for gold, silver, and other treasures. I am responsible for killing many Aztec and ultimately ending the Aztec Empire. Interesting fact. Did you know that at the age of 19, I sold for his Baniola? I am Hernando de Santo. I was born in Spain in the 1500s. My parents wanted me to be a priest or a lawyer. I wanted to explore and find gold. My explanation took me on present day Florida to Northern California, west, west of the Mississippi. River. I died of a fever on the Mississippi River. Hi, my name is Hernando Soto. I was born in the year 1500. I was also the first European to cross the Mississippi River. The reason I was exploring is because I wanted to find gold and riches. I traveled from, the, from South America to the Appalachians in North America so I could explore, conquer, and enslave. Wow, Chris. Those students presented a great wax museum. They really should be proud of themselves. The students were pretty excited to have done this project and made them understand more about the explorers they chose. Overall, it was a great experience for the students. Yeah, George, I think the same too. But hey, thank you for everyone for watching Deborah Shampton School TV.